So that's from my last video. I gave you guys an update about my job search. I ended up landing a position at a school district for a junior network specialist position. Uh, everything's been going great. I love my job, been learning a whole bunch, have great coworkers, and they're really helpful people who just like to help each other learn and progress through their IT careers. But then the virus thing happened and it started to get really serious. The quarantine kind of stopped everything in its tracks and now I'm at home. So the IT department doesn't have much work these days, at least in my school district. And that's because they didn't originally have a remote work from home uh, option. And that's something that they are developing at the moment. In the meantime, I have been doing a lot of research into the technology that the school district does use for its teachers. And that's something that we'll be supporting them doing from our from the comfort of our own homes while they're at home the teachers teaching students so I've been in the position for about a month now and two to three weeks into it everything just kind of shut down yep quarantine and all understandable I was pretty upset at first because I did want to just keep going at it and learning but it is what it is right uh, in those two to three weeks that I was at the job I did learn a lot uh, it was a lot of network printer setups uh, a lot of level one basic IT work, but since it was such a high demand area, you kind of a lot and fast, like really fast. So it was always work or something to do. You could never really have a chance to sit down except for lunchtime, you know, but there's always something to learn and there's just so much to learn because there's such, just so much technology all around you and you get to touch base on just about everything. So in the middle of all this chaos and panicking and anxiety that people are going all crazy about, I've been trying to stay low key. I've been staying low key, staying at home as the quarantine requests and studying. I've been doing a lot of studying. I've been studying three to five hours a day. I've been going all in into my CCNA studies and I've been focusing on that. And that's what I suggest other people to do. If you have a certain certification that you are going for, I say go for it. Do it now. Now is the time. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of the times. I know it sounds pretty bad, but it's it's the best that you can do. It's not much else you can do. You have no control over anything else outside of you, but what you can do now. So take control. Uh, start studying. Uh, maybe you want to go for your A+, plus, your Network+, plus, or your CCNA. So, so one thing I wanted to mention is that I am building my physical lab for the CCNA and I'll be showing that to you guys sometime in the future. I have a few things already. I have my my switch, uh, a couple of the cables, you know, the rollover cable and all that. Uh, all I need is my router and I might get an access point, but at this, right now, I just have my network switch and some of the cables. That so I, I do use Packet Tracer. I've been using Packet Tracer for some time now. I haven't been using it for too long, but I've been using Packet Tracer since I really couldn't afford the physical equipment at the time. And now that I do have a new position and this new job, I feel like I do need something more hands-on, uh, physical equipment that will help me learn the technology, make that connection that you do get when you work on things physically instead of virtually. Although Packet Tracer is a great learning tool, you can get a lot of practice for working in the real world. So if you really can't afford the equipment, I suggest using Packet Tracer because it is a great tool. So this is it guys. Stay indoors, stay safe, wash your hands, keep studying, and keep studying some more. Just keep studying, I'm telling you. During these times where we don't know what's for certain anymore, uh, the best thing you could do is just keep bettering yourself. So keep studying. Uh, maybe you have something to show for it after this is all over and you'll probably get a CER or two, you know? You'll probably get your Network Plus, your A Plus, or your CCNA. So, till next time. So if there's anything that you do take from this video is just to keep studying, keep studying, and keep on studying. Because we're gonna be here for a while, especially if you're in New York like I am. I don't know the situation in any of the other states, but I do know that a lot of them are following suit. Um, I know New York has the most cases, so um, we are gonna be in this for a while looks like at least it looks like but I wouldn't panic or get too crazy about it um, just wash your hands uh, stay healthy stay indoors and stay safe but keep studying
keep studying, guys.